Here are the only tools needed. You need an Allen key set, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a pick, razor blade, or a very thin flat head. And you need the new stage three controller from Gringer. Welcome to Noah's YouTube channel. Mechanic Dad here today to cover something super exciting. And that is how to get your CRF E2 made by Gringer going even faster. In our testing, it is well over 30 miles an hour with Noah on the bike. What we're gonna cover today are the steps you need to take to install the new Stage 3 display onto your CRF E2. I've already installed this once and there's some things that I would have done differently to make it easier. So I've already had experience installing this and now I'm gonna walk you through what I think are the best steps for getting this installed. First step is gonna be to pull off the front number plate with a five millimeter Allen key. Super easy to take off. This will help free up space for the wiring that sits behind here. I have access to the controller wire, which is snaked behind here. Now that we have the front number plate off, we're gonna leave the wires alone for the time being. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this side plate off. The connection for the display sits right about here behind this plastic piece. There's some Phillips head screwdrivers here. There's one, two, and three. All we need to do for this process is take these three screws out. And then there are some Allen heads that sit here, 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 and up behind here. Now that we have all the lower bolts removed, we're gonna work on the last two holding this in. We're gonna undo the fairing connection right here so we can pull this back a little bit and we're gonna get in to this one as well. This is all done with the same five millimeter Allen head that we've been using this whole time. As you can see with this now moved out of the way, we can get to this bottom or this top bolt and we can get it removed. Gives you the perfect amount of space to get your Allen head key in there. And that's that. This right here is the plug that we're gonna be changing with the new unit. Okay, it's simple to undo. You just pull this out, this clip right here, pull it up, and then it slides out. Notice there's a zip tie right up in here. If you have yourself a pick, like we talked about, you can take a pick and stick it right in the entrance here. And you can undo that zip tie so you can save it and put it back when you're done. This will be pretty easy to snake out. Just like this, you can see we have it freed and we now have it sticking out of this wire wrap section on the other side of the bike. So let's go to the other side of the bike and talk about that. All right, guys, I'm gonna do my best to film this part. So here we have the connection that we just unplugged. You can see it comes out of this hole right here, this little indent, and it's kind of stuck in here, right? We don't really know where it goes. Luckily, Gringer is an awesome designer and this wire wrap can just untangle. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go ahead and all you have to do with this is walk it around. Don't cut this. This can be reused. Have that done, you can see now the wire is free. We have another zip tie here. So we're gonna use the technique that we did on the other side. Once that's done, your zip tie is free and you can reuse it. This cable is completely free. It runs behind this housing and then comes out over here. So all you have to do is pull this out run it through, and this will be your old controller out. I already have the new one installed, so I'm not gonna demonstrate just taking it out, but we are gonna go take a look at how to remove 
the controller on the other side. Here's the current display. And the Allen key for this is up under here. All you have to do is undo this Allen key and this will allow the stock display to separate from the bike. In some cases, you may have to remove these two bolts here from the brake lever. All you have to do is loosen it and this will slide out of the way enough for you to pull this off. Tighten up everything you just did and you'll have your cable to route from the new display all the way behind here. Let's see if we can get the camera in there, good. Just run it up top through behind the throttle housing. Now we just have to redo all the steps we just did. The best way to do this is actually don't put the zip ties back on yet. What we wanna do is go ahead and route the new cable back down to the install point. All right, so we're gonna come over here. We're gonna make sure we have the cable routed behind the plastic piece up top. It fits through this top hole nicely under this hose and then bam, we have our cable in place. Nothing hanging out anywhere. So I know that's good. Can only go on one way. This part sticking up here is what goes into the plug latch. Just like that. Have it tucked away, we can reinstall that zip tie. Okay, so here we have the zip tie back in place. I'm just gonna push the tip back around and then I'm gonna scoot this in a little bit, lined up with that zip tie. And that's that part of the install done. Now, before we do anything else and throw covers on, we wanna put the battery back in the bike and we wanna make sure that this functions properly. So turn on the key on. We have light on the controller, we're good. Currently freshly installed on power mode two. Hold down the power button till the wrench shows. And then you wanna hit the plus and now you've unlocked power mode three. Click power again, just do a quick test. go <laughs> start at the top and just work your way slowly if this is your first time doing this it's likely that you might get this twisted up somewhere and that's fine my suggestion is just to take your time make sure you're fully wrapping this around because once it gets tangled you will get frustrated and we're almost at the bottom here, as you can tell. Make sure all the wires are protected, and there you go. Take your remaining wires, push them back down in there. OEM quality. We'll go ahead and time lapse, throwing it back together. Bikes all back together. Now you're ready to rip. Go out and enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you leave a comment, like, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one.